Okay, what if I told you there was a way you could do data analysis in one command and then visualize that shit with a beautiful plot with another command and then put that beautiful plot into LaTeX without having to take your hands off of the keyboard even once. So today I'll be getting into how to get that set up. And okay, I don't want to get into this too much here, but R is basically this all-in-one programming language for math and data analysis. You don't need things like MATLAB or any of that proprietary garbage. R is about all you need. And guess what? There's a plugin for R on NeoVim, which I'll get into, which just makes Vim and R extremely usable together. I got a special surprise for the gang today, so let's get into this. Now, all right, this is the first step, and it shouldn't really have to be said, but I'm just going to say that in case. You should have TechLive installed. You should have NeoVim installed. And if you don't know how to do this, just fucking search it up. Uh, I don't think it's too hard, but yeah, have these two things installed. Now, Ooh, nobody gives a shit. Okay, this is the next thing we're going to get into. You're going to need two plugins to do this shit. And those two plugins are NVimR, which is this one, and then VimTech. These are the two plugins. It's this one and it's this one. Now, these two plugins, I would recommend you do them with the VimPlug plugin because this allows you to lazy load. Lazy loading in native package management just isn't that good. And, um, okay, basically, what you got to do is you got to make an auto load directory in dot conflicts slash nvim. And in that auto load directory, you should just put the Vim plug file. I showed how to do this in one of my older videos. I'm not going to get into it here, but point is install these two plugins however you want. You don't have to lazy load it either. So what, once you've installed those two plugins, what you'll need to do is you'll need to install R. Now installing R can be easily done with a package manager. You just do sudo pacman dash s space R. It has to be a lower case. Or you could use sudo apt get. I think apt get works as well. If apt get doesn't work, it's time to switch to R. <laughs> And if you're on Windows, you switch to Linux Mint, and then you follow these steps. And if you're on Mac, just... Okay, now, like I said, I don't want to get into too... I don't want to get into R too much here. I don't want to make this an R tutorial. That's another thing entirely. But the point is, you're going to need to install some packages, and these packages are going to have to be used all the time in order to do this. So let's just install them locally on the system and reuse them over and over and over again. And in order to do that, this is basically the syntax I've shown... I'm showing it right here. You do install dot packages and then you do the name of the package. Now this knit r knitter knit package is basically the package that turns a dot r and w file into a dot tech file which you can then turn into a pdf and in that dot r and w file is where you can put tech and r. I'm not going to get into that too much here. I'll discuss that shit later but point is that's how you do it. You do it with this package, and this is how you install it. So this package will be installed in this directory. The path has to be absolute path starting from root directory. And then you do home, your username, whatever the fuck. Same thing for the other packages. This is how you can install multiple at once. And then you'll have to run this command. Now, in nvimr, you can do leader d or to execute one line. You do leader rf. Okay, there you go. There's the r console. So you do leader d, and then boom. And then you're going to have to establish all of these. So you can press leader PP. He he. And it executes the whole thing. It executes a whole paragraph. So here to here. That's how NVMR kind of works. There's a lot more you can learn. Just Google the cheat sheet for the key bindings and boom, you're good to go. Okay, so now let's show you actually how to do this. Okay, do that, do that. Okay, so now this, the head data command. That is what I'm going to be printing into the LaTeX document. So I'll get into how to do that now. So like I said, first we'll need to make an R and W file. In order, and in order to do that, you press colon, exclamation mark, which puts it into the terminal command mode. You do touch, space, init dot R and W. The R has to be capital here. And you can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it this. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to press leader N, because that's the key bind for me. I'm going to press capital R in nerd tree to refresh it in case it didn't show up and then there you go you can see it right there now here i'm just gonna i'm gonna press s okay so now this is basically a combination of dot tech and dot r and okay i have configured my snippets so i have the same tech snippets in this file type as well and in order to do that you basically have to go to this directory you have to go to the coc config directory i mean i'll just quickly show how to do that here in case I'm going to go here. Okay. So you can see this. 
and you go to all T snips and this is where your custom snippets are stored. Make a file tap with this and basically copy everything in dot tech into this. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna get into that shit here. All right, so now this is basically a dot r and w file. So let's just let's just do some stuff here. Okay, start dot here. All right, now let's run the r command. We do now in order to do that, you basically have this syntax. Okay, now this syntax, you put some options or properties in here, but we're not gonna get into that here. We don't need that yet. You just do head, the same command in r. You write that now. Okay, now we are done with the dot r and w. Now you go back to the r, and then you'll see this command right here. I'll, I'll, it's called knit, and then the name of the r and w file. So you just run this. You do leader d. You run that line out, ah, and look at that. Init dot tex. Init dot tech. Now we have to open the init dot tech. Run that through the LaTeX compiler, which is what VimTech is used for, and then you get a PDF. So let's get into how to do that. So I'm going to go in here. And I'm just going to close this for now. I'm going to press leader N, open up my nerd tree thingy again, and refresh that. All right, this is where the refresh comes in. You press capital R twice to refresh it fully. And then you can see this, init.tech. I'm going to press S to open and split. And okay, now you can, this is a tech document. You can see this, document class, yada, yada. Now, all of this is basically dot R and W, quote unquote, translated into dot TX. Okay, do not mess with this too much. I would recommend you just edit the .tech file, but you can see here. There you go. Start. This was the first thing. Okay, let's just add some words. Save that. And you can see this. This is basically turning the head thing into the data and then end here. Okay, we'll put a hello at the end. Okay, now you write that. Now, earlier I showed how to get VimTech and NeoVim set up. It's the same procedure here. You already have it set up. You press leader LL to start the compiler in continuous mode. So let's do that. Leader LL. And there you go. Now, obviously, it doesn't look too neat. You're going to have to modify some properties, but you can get R commands, head the data, in LaTeX. I did not print this. I did not make a table or whatever. I just went, I just got the knit R package to do it. So let's quit out of Zathura, space LL to stop the compiler. And okay, now, obviously, you can modify this to make it look neater. This is not, this is not really a good example because... The, the head command doesn't look too nice, but the point is you can do plots really easily and you can synchronize your data analysis and report writing almost seamlessly. I did all of this without lifting my hands off the keyboard. The only time I used the mouse was to show you guys these two pages clicking through this, which you can use Cute Browser to do that, but whatever. This is the best setup for data analysis and report generation if you're virtually any kind of student, especially in data analysis. I'm just going to close this window here. This is how you do it. Now, you'll have to learn R, okay? And you'll have to learn extra properties of the knit R package, which can make it look nicer. That one I just showed you right now didn't look as nice. But the point is, this is how you get it set up. Now, the learning, you guys kind of have to do that yourself. Figure out what you want to do, and you'll learn how to do it. Not too hard. This is the best fucking setup. I don't want any proprietary cuck in the comments going, Oh my God, Sid, um, uh, this software is better. Shut the fuck up. And also, I understand I haven't been too in-depth here. I understand if this seems a little bit confusing, but the point is you probably take technology for granted because you've been using Windows your whole life. The stuff isn't too hard. Get cracking. You will learn and your brain will become sharper.